deal with airplane peanuts. I like uh, short films, right? So I wrote a short film. I go, I think I want to make, you want to you do this? I have a break in my tour coming up. And I go, it's either this one or this one. I, so I send them a couple. And then I'm like, actually, maybe this one. And then I just send him a bank of them. I, ha I have a bunch. Hey, what do you think? And he goes, why don't we pick three? And if I can get the schedule right, hmm. we could shoot these like three short films. We shoot three completely separate short film, completely different stories. Right. And then I fly back another day and I do a soundstage day where I introduce the show. This is all just proof I mean I don't have like a deal or anything I just proof a concept right. shoot these these 1.2 million I what the fuck <laughs> yeah <laughs> how what yes Tom Segura revealed on his podcast last week that he just spent 1.2 million dollars of his own money to produce three short films that will be packaged together in a tv show-esque format likely coming out very soon Welcome back to the Joke World Comedy Update. Every single Monday, bringing you all the comedy news that you need to know from your favorite comedians and your favorite podcasts. Literally anything happening in the comedy world all on one YouTube channel. So please consider subscribing to Joke World right now. Follow us on Instagram and go download this episode on Spotify or Apple, wherever you listen to podcasts to support the show. 1.2, what'd you get for that 1.2? Make a whole ass, I can make th three movies for that When um, So we just did uh, Color last week. Mm. Color timing? A color correction yeah, on yeah. The, and then we um the mix was this week and there's a couple of vfx things that are going in and then it's done i'll send can i send it to you when i would it's love done? to watch it. Love have to you seen any of this do you know that you're not getting oh no i've been there I've, no 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 i've been there you know, for, they're like we're doing color now and yeah. you're like i hear they're doing no, no, color no. i went i went and uh i i, I had to go proof. yeah oh yeah 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 no it's look it looks Amazing. fucking unbelievable and i got like dude i got fucking <clears throat> i don't even know if i should say but who was a he did one of the short films. He is unbelievable. So on the latest episode of Your Mom's House, Tom was talking with Kevin Smith about how he's actually written a handful of short films, but just hasn't had the time to produce any of them. It wasn't until very recently that he finally had a break in his tour and was able to actually shoot some of these ideas. But even then, he still didn't know how they were going to turn out, or more importantly, how much it was going to cost. Out of pocket, man. Like I, I You paid for it? I paid for the whole thing. 1.2 million. Yes. You just told that story in public. Yeah. Like where you're like, oh, I accidentally paid 1.2 million for a thing yeah. out of pocket change. Well, how pocket fucking change. rich are you guys? I'm not that rich, but but, but dude, I can't do that. I made Clark's. I've been in business 30 years. If a friend of mine is like, I need 300 thousand dollars for a movie, I'm like, good luck. I don't know. Why. I'm looking for money too. Where yeah. you tell me when you find something. You know what's crazy? You're like, hold on. <laughs> Here's the crazy. Here, part. Rami. Yeah. 1.2. Here's the crazy for part. ten minutes of film. We had an extensive conversation about what I wanted to spend on this thing. Right. And it is less than half of that. <laughs> I would hope and it so. Was, it was agreed upon. And then one day I was like, this is not what we talked about. <laughs> like it was, it's way more. It's not exactly clear what he means by short film. I'm expecting it to be a comedy, obviously. And I also thought of those old videos that Tom has up on his YouTube channel from like 10 years ago. If you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check it out. It's a mix of like a short film and a very long comedy sketch. So I'm expecting something like that just with $1.2 million of production value behind it. Mr. Mayor? Baby boy, drink with me. Mr. Mayor, this is Stan Ramsey from the budget office. We're using Stan for some healthcare PSAs. He was recently diagnosed with cancer. God, I'm sorry, Stan. What kind? Lung. I don't even smoke. <laughs> yeah. What did the doctors say? They gave me six months. You know something? My aunt had lung cancer, and they gave her that same prognosis. And that was 14 years ago. Really? She remained cancer free? No, oh, she died 13 and a half years ago. Why, why are you telling me this? Because it was like six months to the day. I mean, these doctors, they know their shit. It's great meeting you, Stan. Hey, and definitely swing by before April. We can set that up through my office. He hasn't given out any information on the release date or the streaming provider yet, but I'll be sure to keep a close eye on this and update you all as soon as possible. Another reason to subscribe to Joke World. And I got, I got great people. Are you people. in the short as well? I'm in all of them, but I only, I, what I did was I wanted to be in all of them, but I only wanted to 
uh, be the lead in the one that I wanted to be. So right. I thought I would just lend myself to like, uh, I'm just cameos in two of them right. and, and the lead in one. If you're a Tiger Belly fan, then you've definitely been following the gang's recent trip to the Philippines. Bobby and company went down there about a month ago to film and produce their very own talent show. It's also our highest quality shirt. It's, so it's the Kanye West blanks. So I was like, fuck, I'll just go all out. Kanye West blanks, we acid washed it, and we had someone hand distress it, uh, distressed it, and they also hand stitched the stuff on the back. It was a blast. And it's also $50. I forgot to bring a bra. It's okay. We're all friends here. Justin, get a bra. Alright, yeah, give me the here. Download it on my thing. I'll put the whole photo on it. Let me ask you something, Jay. Yeah. Are there strip clubs here? I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's sad, bro. There's There's no high-end strip club? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not looking for, like, Cirque du Soleil shit. Earlier today, they posted part one of their travel style vlog that they filmed while in the Philippines. There's a lot of great behind the scenes moments with Bobby, setting up the podcast with Gilbert, with Fancy. There's even some Kalila moments in there for you. So if you're looking for some more Tiger Belly in your life, it's about nine minutes long and you can find that on their YouTube channel right now. Jay Leno was released from the hospital last week after spending 10 days in the burn unit. For those of you that don't know what happened, basically Jay Leno's very into cars. He owns multiple garages the size of warehouses and he likes to work on them himself. So a few weeks ago, he was underneath one of the cars trying to clear one of the gas lines when suddenly it caught on fire, the gas burst out in flames and severely burned his face, his chest, and his hands to the third degree. Yeah. Jay, let me ask you this. Are you nervous? No, we got two shows tonight, regular and extra crispy. Okay, thank you. Never thought of myself as a roast comic. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Good night. He took some pretty severe damage from this too. I mean, he was in the burn unit for 10 days, third degree burns all over his body, his face, his hands, his chest. It's, it's a bad situation, but it looks like it's getting better. He's going to make a full recovery, and hopefully he'll be back doing comedy sometime soon. Guest spots from last week. Your mom's house talked with Kevin Smith. Two Bears, One Cave was Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. Flagrant had on Neil Brennan. Whiskey Ginger talked with Taryn Killam. Kill Tony tonight is Tom Segura. That should be a banger of an episode. And Mark Norman and Sam Morell were both on Chrissy Chaos. We got wasted. Uh, I ended up at a casino with Stav and Ari Shafir. And all I remember is we're, uh, we're in line at this gas station. Stav led us to a gas station. He seems, seems like it. He looks like an employee of a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we're getting fried chicken, fried uh, soft shell crab, fried oysters, just fried From everything. a gas station. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, dicey. Yeah. Stav led us there. Ari That's and I a real were, gamble. <laughs> Sorry. We're wasted and uh, we're in line. And some, some guy's just staring at the three of us. We're just glazed over and he goes, I know who you are. <laughs> I'm like, when you hear that, you're like, I'm fucking wrecked. This All is right, dicey. Yeah. Then we're just stuffing our face in our hotel lobby, chug, just feeling disgusting. And uh, and I'm so wasted at one point. I just go, man, imagine eating this shit sober. And Stav goes, I'm completely sober. What? <laughs> Stav wasn't drunk? He's sober. He's like getting healthy. <laughs> well, yeah, because he said, I know he went to Baltimore uh, for the summer to go to like a fat camp or something like no, that. No, his brother's it... a trainer. So. <laughs> not a fat camp. <laughs> I thought he went to fat camp. They killed in heavyweights. Yeah. <laughs> This past weekend, Anthea Vaughn had a solo episode for Gang's Giving. The Joe Rogan Experience talked with Danny Brown. We Might Be Drunk had on Fortune Feimster. Are You Garbage talked with Sarah Weinshank. And Tiger Belly had on Mark Smalls. As far as new stand-up specials go, we have two brand new ones that we have not discussed at all on the Comedy Update, so that's very exciting. Starting off with Matteo Lane, The Advice Special. That's out right now on YouTube. It's about 30 minutes long. So it's a very funny and quick watch. We also have Sean Patton coming out with a new special this week on Peacock, titled Number One. And according to that description, Patton explores everything from his OCD to his madhouse of an upbringing and the broken yet unbreakable bonds of his family. So two new specials for you to check out right there. Other than that, comment some ones that I missed for next week. We'll be sure to feature those. That does it for this week's Joke World Comedy Update. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again next Monday with some more comedy news. But in the meantime, please subscribe to this channel right now and turn on those post notifications because on Wednesday, we're coming out with the best of November, funniest podcast moments from November from all your favorite shows. So turn on the post notifications because it would be very, 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 very embarrassing if you missed that video somehow or if you weren't one of the first few people to watch it. So make sure you have those post notifications on Wednesday. Just sit by your laptop or your phone or whatever you watch it on. Sit there and wait. Wait for the notification. Click it right away. Then click like and then comment something for the algorithm because you know how that's, that's how YouTube works. You know that we need comments. Comment something on this video too. Don't be stingy with your comments. Don't be stingy, Mark. All right. Thank you for watching. We'll see you Monday and Wednesday. Best of November.